Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm now going to be setting up my Obsidian Vault for the very first time to create my digital mine. So in this video I'm going to cover some simple setup, install a custom theme to improve the way that Obsidian looks rather than just this default view, and then I'm going to be creating a simple homepage with a little bit of structure so that I can start putting in my permanent notes in the future videos in this series. So first let's get started with the one plugin that I'm going to start off using and that is if I go to settings and then core plugins I can enable the templates plugin. So now if I think of any templatization that I want to do for my second brain or digital mind then I'll be able to create one. So I'm going to enable that. I'm also going to set the hotkey for loading up a template to control T and then I'm going to create a new folder for templates and then go back to settings, scroll down to the plugin options for templates, and then I will set that as templates so it knows where to pull the templates from. I'm also going to set up another folder for notes. Since Obsidian has a file hierarchy as well as the bi-directional linking, I want all of the new notes that I create to go into one folder whereas all of the higher level pages to be visible in another one. So if I go to settings and then files and links I can set the default location for new notes to be in a folder that I specify which I will set as notes so then I don't have to be moving them around after the fact. And now I want to improve the way that it looks. So also if I go back down to settings, go to appearance, I can browse some community themes. And with what I was playing around with before, I think the one that I want to try using first is this Dracula for Obsidian. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. And now that that's done, I can go ahead and create a new file for my homepage. So I got the idea for how I'm going to set this homepage from some linking your thinking videos and maps of content. So I'm going to just set up a few at the beginning that I think might be good buckets to throw notes into. I'm not going to overthink it too much, but I want to give it enough structure so that I can at least have a good home for notes to go to in the beginning. So now I have six buckets. The first four are based on the categories from Seven Habits for Highly Effective People, where Stephen Covey breaks them out into spiritual, mental, physical, and social. So I thought that would be a good way to break up my notes, as well as adding work and then any special interests that I have that doesn't quite fit into either of those. So now I want to just create each of these notes. So by default in Obsidian, it doesn't create a page when you link to it. So to create these notes, I'm just going to quickly open them in the side pane by control shift clicking each of them. And now I want to take all of these notes and put it in my digital mind and then have it open here on the left hand side for easy access to get to navigate to them. And finally there's one last thing that I want to do and that's regarding the local graph that I'd like to be able to see as I'm working. So if I just come here and go ahead and open the local graph I can drag this down to my sidebar. I will close this and now I can see how the note that I'm on is connected to all the other notes on that page. So if I switch to the page this will automatically update to show me that individual note and all the connections to it. So that's my simple beginner setup for Obsidian. In the next episodes I'm going to be going ahead and creating permanent notes in my digital mind. So I will see you all next time.